Hello, Grace family. I'm Leon Filial, and I want to bless and encourage you today. In Colossians 1.9, Paul and Timothy write to the church there, We've not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. You might recall that back in January, uh, Matt invited us to spend 2019 praying these verses in Colossians for himself, for leadership in the church, and for the leadership as a whole. So Debbie and I took up that challenge, and um, on a near daily basis, we're praying for the leadership of the church, and but for all of us as well, that we would be filled with all spiritual wisdom and understanding. I gotta confess, though, that after a few days, that felt really abstract, and uh, not it didn't really grab me. Um, but then I recalled that I heard a speaker a while back talk about uh, praying for the will of God. And he said that every day he prays this and asks the Lord this question, Lord, what good works have you prepared for me to do today? And then give me the, 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 the wherewithal to do those, and nothing more and nothing less. Um, many of us temperamentally are wired to, to do a lot and to be kind of heroes and to take on too much. Many of us are temperamentally wired in the opposite direction, where we kind of retreat into rituals and habits and routines, but we don't really, we don't really put our hands to the things that God's really asking of us. And so this prayer um, basically invites the Spirit every day to lead us into the things that God has prepared. In Ephesians uh, 2.10, Paul says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. This idea that God has prepared the good works for us to do. And that assumes that not everything that we might do is a good work that he wants us to do. Not every good work is necessarily a work that he wants us to do. So I've begun to pray on a very regular basis, almost daily, Lord, lead me into the good works that you've prepared for me today and help me to do those and no more than those and no less than those. Um, a number of months back, I was really struggling with some anxiety, um, and this prayer really helped me, because basically what that meant was, at the end of the day, because I had asked the Lord to lead me, at the end of the day, I could let go all the things that were still undone. You know, I could trust that if they didn't happen, Jesus didn't want them to happen, because I had invited him to lead me in that. So that's my prayer for all of us that we would be people who are um, increasingly filled with the knowledge of his will, as Paul says in Colossians. Um, and my prayer is that, that, you would, that you would walk every day doing the good works that he has for you, nothing more, nothing less. In this season of flux with COVID and whatnot, uh, there are so many choices uh, that we have to make each day and so many demands that are being placed on us that are tricky. So my prayer is that we would all have the peace of being filled with this knowledge of God's will. So Lord Jesus, uh, would you help each of us individually and would you help us as a church collectively? And would you lead our leaders in knowing what good works they're to take up every day? And as importantly, what good works they and we are to let go every day. And may we rest at the end of each day confident that we're doing you know, what you called us to do. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.